It's here. It's finally here. The brand spanking new DaveMossTuning.com. All of Dave's videos and articles in one convenient location. Click the link below and enjoy. This is my racing 450, otherwise visually it looks like an R6. One of the many questions we get is about brakes, brake pads, brake pistons. So we're going to give you some video content here and a complete walkthrough on how to look at all of this piece by piece, step by step. Firstly, are the pads wearing straight or are they diagonal because we may have a stuffed piston? Secondly, the condition of the pistons themselves. Are they covered in dirt and debris? And then lastly, when we pull the brake pads out, do we actually have a stuck piston and what are they supposed to look like when they move together? So, taking the brake caliper off, the bad part is, visually to me, lines on the brake pistons when I push the brake lever, which piston moves and which piston does not move. So, now comes the fun part because you have to do multitasking and at this point we can do it all ourselves. Let's see if I can bridge that gap with the brake pad. I can. Okay, go for it. If you're not careful and just break it free, that piston can literally pop out. I realistically only had one piston seemingly working fully functionally compared to the other three. These are perfectly synchronized and working together beautifully. How much do we depend on our brakes? How much braking performance do we need on the road where stuff happens randomly? Why not take care of these properly?